Hello everyone. Have you ever asked yourself the question, how can your camera really spy on you? That is, the front camera or the main one. At the same time, you personally do not want this, and I personally would not want this to happen either, that someone receives some information, spies on me and specifically also through the camera, even when the phone is lying on the table, locked, blocked, but someone can spy on something. Today I will show you one of the tricky settings that you definitely need to double check if you have been using a smartphone for several months. Be sure to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel and share with friends. So, let's figure it out briefly. If you bought a smartphone, in any case, of course, you start installing various applications, programs that you need. But when you install them, 99% of people do not bother at all and do not read what permissions you should automatically provide for this or that application to work. And often it is the camera. Well, if this application is some kind of really official, bona fide one, it's not so bad. Well, and if some kind of virus application, if this is some special application that you downloaded, it got access to the camera and, of course, gets some information, of course, this needs to be controlled. To do this, you need to use the usual standard settings. Go and look for privacy protection here. This line, look, my icon looks like this. I have a standard theme, so if you use a standard theme, you can determine by the icon. Why do I say this? Because there is also regular privacy. It looks a little different, but the line is very similar. And it happens that people don't find it later. So go to privacy protection and click on all permissions here. And I'll show you, here we find the camera. And look, in my case only one application is allowed. That is, your camera is the application. For example, if you have never been here, in 99% of cases you will have at least some, but the applications will be in the top column, where they are always allowed. Here. So be sure to check. For example, I completely remove everything from this column. That is, not allowed for any application. Next we have a column allowed only when used. But this is very logical. That is, access to the camera only when I turn on the camera itself and specifically the camera application.